Hey guys, my name is Serena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do the last 2017 related book video. I wanted to talk to you about my 2017 book challenge book tag wrap up. So last year I made a video in which I answered some questions in this book tag and I basically established a TBR for the entire year or at least the books I wanted to read last year and let's see if I've read every one of them. The first two books are one non-fiction and one fiction that have something in common. So for this one I decided to read The Book Thief because it was related to the Second World War and the Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank and this was the non-fiction related to the Second World War. So these two books, fiction and non-fiction, have this in common and I've read both of them. The Book Thief was my favorite book of the year basically and I talk about it in my book review and I will link it down below. And for what concerns The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, I decided to not write this book because it is a diary. It wasn't planned on being published. And I've read reviews where people say that it was boring, she was complaining a lot. If you lived in inside a closet, basically, all day, every day, during a war, and you were persecuted, and she is also a preteen, 18, and of course you're going to complain and that was her diary she could do whatever she wanted this wasn't planned on being published so i i am not going to rate a girl's diary but i i did enjoy it i wanted to know more about this time period and yeah i did not rate it but i did enjoy it the next book on the list is a book that involves politics so for a book that involves politics, I wanted to read Shadow Scale. This is the second book in the Serafina duology. I read the first book. This book is about Serafina, who lives in a world where dragons exist. And there is somewhat a political feel to it because they have to maintain the peace between the two, dragons and humans. So I wanted to complete this duology, but I didn't have the chance to do so. And I'm going to do it this year, hopefully. The next book on the list is a book that involves a difficult topic. For this one, I decided to read All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And I talk about this in my Adventure-a-thon wrap-up. And basically, I gave this book two stars. This was an okay read, but I did not connect with any of the characters. They were basically descriptions of their illness. Next book is a band book. So for this one, I decided to read Looking for Alaska, same as All the Bright Places. I gave this two stars. I did not connect with any of the characters, so I did not care about the deeper meaning on this book. The next book is a play or an epic. And for this one, I decided to read Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay. Loved it. Five stars. J.K. Rowling is a genius. Next, a book that has more than 800 pages. Okay, for this one, I decided to read Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This is 807 pages and I did not finish it you can tell, but I'm going to do so this year. I am determined to do this this year and I am loving this so far. I love Game of Thrones the show and the book is great so far. I'm going to finish it. The next book is a book that was published in your birth year. So for this one I was going to read Harry Potter the Illustrated Edition. I did not read it. I'm going to do this year, I, I mean, you can tell this is a theme here. Every book on this list that I haven't read last year, I'm going to read this year, so yeah. Number eight is a biography, autobiography, or memoir. For this one, I read I Am Malala, which is a biography of what happened to Malala, her life basically, and I've learned a, a lot of things. How life in Pakistan was a few years ago. I enjoyed this. I give it 
four stars. Number nine, a classic. A classic! Yeah, I read Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Really liked it. Wasn't my favorite of all time. I wasn't expecting more from it because everybody loves it. It seems and yeah I think it's very well written everybody has a distinct personality and I think it was just the love between Elizabeth and Darcy that didn't make me love the book you know number 10 is a book that intimidates you a book that intimidates me is Serena by Ron Rash, which I did not read. So I am intimidated by this book because it's an historical fiction and I have not read a lot of historical fiction and I do not know much about this time period. It is set in the 1920s and I bought this book because first of all, the cover, the title is my name and in the movie, which I have not seen, there is Jennifer Lawrence that plays Serena, so this is, these are basically the reasons why I bought this book and I really want to read it. I have not this last year, but this year I am. Number 11 is a nonfiction psychology or sociology. And for this one, as I said in my all oh, the books I read in 2017, link down below, is The Interpretation of Dreams by Sigmund Freud, which I DNF'd. I read a hundred and so pages and I just felt like studying, like reading a book for school and I wasn't enjoying myself and it just made me get into a slump, you know, and I decided to DNF it. And lastly, number 12 is a book from a genre that you don't read enough of. For this one, I decided to read Anna Just in Blood by Kendra Blake. This is horror. I have never read anything horror and it is not horror. Let me tell you, I wasn't scared at all. It is more of a romance, so... Disappointed. Again, two stars. So yeah guys, those were all the books that I read in 2017 according to this book tag. I think that overall I did well. I just didn't read three books. I didn't read three books. And I read all the others. I DNF'd one, but I I am happy of the results. And that's all for 2017. By 2017, I'm not going to make any videos anymore about 2017. And I'll see you next week with another video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye!